Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And this morning, I just wanted to hop on here real quick to give you an idea for Father's Day. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. Sometimes it's difficult to come up with an idea that the children can make themselves. And this year proved to be even more difficult with stores being closed and all those extra challenges that we faced this particular year. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick to show you what we came up with for our Father's Day gift this year. Like I mentioned, I live in Ontario and anything non-essential is closed right now. And so I had to try to find things that I had at home or that I could order online. I had this creative pack of shrinky dink material and so we decided to make Father's Day keychains this year. My children are really young, they're all between the ages of one and three and so they're not really able to draw specific things but basically I gave the children sharpie markers and they used the rough side to draw their pictures and then once they were finished drawing their pictures I just wrote I love daddy and their name and they turned out super cute and what was exciting for the children is to see their project that was on a big sheet shrink down into a small little keychain. I will preface this with a warning. I found this extremely stressful. My daughter and I put these in the oven while the children were sleeping one day and we were very thankful that they were not part of it. Originally we had thought that we would have the children be a part of the shrinking process so that they could see what was happening but this was not an easy task it was actually quite stressful because they do curl up and so you have to get the temperature just right to be able to get them flattened again and shrunk so it's important that you are paying attention sometimes you need to put them back in the oven to get them flat again. And so I'll, I'll just give you a warning that you need to really pay attention. I found they turned out super cute. This little one has started to make little people. And when I showed these to the children, they were so excited. Excited to see their art on the keychain. The nice thing about this activity is it can be done with any age group. And regardless if your children are different stages of writing ability, it doesn't matter. The youngest child can still make their little drawings for dad. And it's just kind of a precious little keepsake for dad. Before we got started, I showed the children a set of keys and I asked the children if their dad had any keys. And then I explained to them that we were gonna make him a special keychain for Father's Day. To wrap these, I just got a brown paper bag. And, and what we're gonna do is make two little slits on either side. And we're gonna fold it. And then the children are gonna put a little tie. And for this, I just used scrapbooking paper that I had at home. And for my older children, you can see that I drew the lines for them and then they cut them out themselves and of course my youngest ones I cut them for them. My older twos and early threes are definitely able to cut them out themselves and so so this will be how we wrap our keychains for Father's Day. So I just rifled through my different scrapbooking paper to see if I could find some, some patterns that resembled ties. So you can see they turned out super cute and this is all material that I had on hand and I think it'll be a really special gift. And then we also made our own Father's Day cards. We kept it super simple and made some bubble letters for the children to decorate themselves. You can see that this is another activity that is e easily done with a multi-age classroom. This is one done by, this one is done by my six month old grandson and he wanted to eat this paper. And so we just added kisses in the corner. I just think they're super cute. 
And I love that it's all completed by the child. So if you have children that aren't yet able to write their name, just make sure you give them an opportunity to write their name. I have some three-year-olds that are doing really well with their names. And I'm super proud. So I think they turned out super cute and they're always so excited to give their parents their gift. I hope this idea gave you some inspiration and if you have any fun ideas, I'd love to hear yours as well. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm proud of you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't.